Hi, thank you for joining me. My name's Trish. Today I'm going to have a look into my Camilla. So this is my first time tap into this reading. My Camilla, past of... Okay, my Camilla was married to Pastor John Paul Miller and my Camilla passed on the 27th of April in Lumber River. North Carolina so here it is um, people on the internet are thinking that like it was set up to look like a suicide Ellie has ruled um, self-inflicted so here we're just going to I'm going to be very open-minded here and just let the cards say whatever they want to say here I'm not going to go in with an opinion one way or another so I'm keeping very biased here and this is my first time tap into this reading so let's just see what the cards have to say about Micah Miller What I've done here is just done a initial tap in just to see if I have permission to read here or if I'm connected to the situation here. I've got the innocent card here but I've also got the, um, it's called the Hierophant but it's the pastor and sitting next to the pendant so I feel like I am connected in here and looking at the right case because we're seeing the pastor wearing the pendant, the same pendant that Micah wore. Um, so I feel like we've got a connection here with this case. So let's see what the cards have to say first of all about the passing of Micah Miller please. What can we say here about the passing of Micah Miller? What I've got in the cards here, it's showing me that some part of this has been set up, framed or staged um, and a web of lies around a situation. Okay, something around this um, taken a long time. Let me just tap into this energy here. Okay, and again we've got the mask card. So. Um, not true face means it's not as it's seen or not as it's projected so it's a little bit different feel like there's um something going on with social media here as well and it's saying i want it out so that would indicate she did file for divorce so i'm feeling like that's connected to their divorce card here as well so that's what we're going to call this one now next to it we've got suspicious activity going on around a phone you can see the phone records here and digital footprint so we need to look into um the activities of both Micah and JP um, prior prior to the event so there's some kind of suspicious activity or digital footprint that's going on now what I did find strange was that Micah went in to buy a gun okay that could have been for her own protection but I will ask that question okay now heavy burdens are carried here Okay, I'm just going to pull up on, um, so we are showing that something's not, not exactly being shown in the right way. Okay, the Hermit. Clarification for the Hermit and the Resilience. Okay, saying more than one involved. Um, so we're looking at this in a wrong direction okay there's some kind of suspicious activity going on here with this case so something about this is, is um, they've been trying to cover up footprints or cover up backtrack in some way let me just see if I can pull in any answers here. Okay, what I'm feeling is that certain elements prior to the event or the death of Micah 
I'm seeing little staged activities or things being done that are staged in a way. So I don't feel so much that the event itself is staged, which I will get to that, but I'm feeling like the, the days leading up to it events around there are staged now it could also be the phone call okay it's the phone call something not right about the phone call we've got two phone cards here and the stage card web of lies wrong direction more than one involved okay so now that makes sense to me now so I feel like yes she wanted out she was filing for divorce perhaps she bought the gun because she felt she needed protection but what I'm saying is leading up to it it's almost like she was leaving breadcrumbs or that it was kind of being staged or set up so if she felt like okay she needed to protect herself she needed to buy a gun that could be staged or set up for the event on purpose that's kind of what I'm feeling like before it there's a whole it's like staging an event before it all the little actions that took place and occurred before it were all set up on purpose that way now i am seeing phone here and web of lies something staged or set up around the phone so let's open up that question right there that will be a really good starting question about that phone call to 911 okay tell me more about the call Micah's called to 911 saying she was going to commit suicide. Was that Micah? Was that Micah? Okay, the card that flicked off then says tampering or cover up. So there's a cover up going around there. About the 911 call now that apparently came in or allegedly came in from uh, Micah. Okay, again we've got the card that says more than one involved. Cover up, more than one involved. Check the timing. And some kind of distraction or media distraction. Or social media, check social media. Now that would be the other thing, like there would be surely some kind, and this is the waterway, the waterway. So I feel like they're, um, they're jumping ahead there. checking her social media prior also checking his social media as well prior to see if there was any kind of clues or breadcrumbs or staging going on there with the social media okay he's showing me um the devil card which can be rage narcissism feeling restrained in some way feeling um Restrange. I know she did file for a divorce. Okay, and here is by the water and the contemplation card. Okay, what I'm looking at now is the phone call to 911. I'm not sure why they're saying something's going on with the timing of that call. Was there something else going on perhaps needing to check at that time? Was there something done with social media at that time? It's like something going on here with the social media around that phone call. I don't know what that is, but these cards are here when I'm asking about that phone call, phone call to 911. Then it's directing me to social media, but saying check something out. So it could be checking social media, check her last post on social media what was that prior to the phone call but there seemed to be some kind of tampering going on when I've asked about the phone call um, and more than one involved so let's come back to that that one there is the waterway at the water so we'll come back to that first of all we'll ask is was anybody else involved in that phone call to 911 was anybody else involved apart from Micah to the phone call to 911 
okay straight away it's moving me back to the waterway so being at the water so where it came up before in the last reading I thought I'll move through was anybody else involved in that phone call and then I'll start asking about the waterway so but it's coming back to the waterway so checking the timing so was the timing sometime around when she would have been at the Lumber River because I think that was about like an hour and a half away from where she lived so was the call placed from the river or was it placed prior to going to the river was she alone was she alone at that Lumber River again the energy of the feeling tied up feeling restrained I had to get away again this feels like filing for the divorce so it's saying um, feeling restrained and having to get away trying to get away or having to get away Um, female energy I am safe now okay so female or feeling unsafe around female energy okay not sure let's validate that one because I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying the right thing there okay was Micah alone at the waterway marks left behind um, exposing something around aggression person is known and a crime of opportunity okay the question that I'm thinking of here is was Micah coerced in any way was Micah coerced in any way? Either at her passing or the phone call. Was the coercion involved? Okay, repeat offender. okay what these cards are showing is that okay what these cards are showing is that something was done repeatedly so um, it's saying that she needed freedom she wanted out maybe something that she had tried before or something that was attempted previously because we have the repeat offender so it's a repeat or a previous attempt um, but did not go to plan the first time but she wanted out she wanted freedom okay down here it's saying no too much wanted to talk and person is known in a stalker energy so she did feel like she was being followed um, tracked or stalked and we've got the stalker card here by someone that she knows she's trying to maybe track who she was talking to about something and we've got the drugged or poisoned card so I'm not sure where that fits in but it's there on the end so these being 
something that was done in the past didn't go to plan the first time maybe tried previously but didn't go to plan maybe it was a second attempt so and and i'm talking either way so whether they're allegedly self-inflicted or allegedly done by somebody else it feels to be a a second attempt at something because the first time it didn't go to plan but she's saying that she she was fearful she wanted out she wanted a freedom she felt she was being stalked by the person known to her trying to listen to who she was talking to um because it says she knew too much wanted to talk but it was like they were stalking her listening to what she was saying or what she was divulging here countless times i'm hearing so more than once So maybe she attempted to get out previously, um, maybe a divorce, or attempted something previously. Please show me what happened. Um, the first cut on the screen says deeply involved or water. We do know it happened at the water. Next to that, we're looking at the temperance, which is also showing the water. Tem temperance sometimes is um, like consuming what you've consumed, but it does say um, trying to get some kind of balance going on here. But I just feel like it's water, but I feel like it's a bit more than that. Okay, so you had some kind of hidden knowledge or she was somebody was trying to hide something something some, some part of that around the water was being hidden so some part of it was hi hiding something it involved time was running out something was done something staged something set up or something framed by a person of interest okay now i'm going to ask if um, this was self-inflicted very interesting exactly the same cards have fallen out again okay so this is the story right here this is what's going on right here now i'm not overly familiar with this case because this is my first tap into the reading so i've got very little information um I haven't heard the phone call but there is saying there's something going on with that phone call but these are the cards that have come out twice now there is showing mental struggles or mental illness now i did know that he said to his congregation that she was struggling with mental mental struggles and here we've got the card of mental struggles here it's showing again something that had a repeat of something so a second attempt on something because the first time it didn't go to plan okay the hangman indicates um, sacrifice or delays and below that we've got the drug or poison card again can also feel like it can be like manipulation or poisoned with words so um, manipulated coerced poisoned with words here We've got the check the timing again. There's something going on around the timing of something or the timing of the social media. Same again, same as what they said before. So need to check the social media. Something's going on around the social media of like the three people involved, the um, her, JP, and I believe there's a new partner. Like I said, I'm not 100% because I haven't followed or haven't looked too deeply into this case. But these cards have come out for the second time. This is the situation here is what it's saying. This is what's being revolved, being um, the, the message or the information that's being given in this situation. Something um, was a repeat attempt or a second attempt at something, something the first time it didn't go to plan. There was mental struggles here. Um, she did say that she was trying to get away or trying to get freedom. Those cards keep coming out as well. Here as I'm talking I'm going to shuffle as well. It does say drugged or poisoned so that could be um, which is really interesting that poison comes out because normally women statistics don't unalive with a gun usually it's poison and then the poison card sitting here
I am safe now, she says. Okay. Um, unaware of something, so unaware of a situation. And again, that card has fallen before. Okay, what I was just getting, picking up on then is, was there another attempt through poisoning? Because it's saying here this is a repeat of something that didn't go to plan the first time. Perhaps something related to drugging or poisoning. Um, again, or um, manipulation here with the magician. Need to check the social media. This says check the timing and social media. So I feel like there's something to do with social media that needs to be checked. Okay, coming back to the phone call. I just want to keep this short and brief. Was anybody else involved in the in the passing of Micah? Was anybody else involved? Drugged or poisoned? Exposing secrets. Something was... Okay, that's my yes card right there. Something was seen used to be called motives. So look at, look at someone's motives. But here we're seeing... two people but this also could be where she felt like she was being stalked as well or, or tracked followed yes someone else was involved it says the sun card is my yes and exposing secrets or something to be exposed will this case Will that get exposed? Will that get exposed that somebody else was involved? Evidence is saying self-inflicted, that's what they declared. So I feel like on a physical level, there'll be no justice or other judgment other than that. I feel like it's this card here is saying um, it's the evidence or the statement. So the evidence here says that this is her by the water, by herself. This is what they're reeling it as. Even though I feel like the judgment will be more of a religious or a spiritual judgment. Waterway, just underneath that. Um, jealousy or cheating. <coughs> End of the situation. Marks left behind. Okay, final words. Okay, so I did get the um, the no card came out for the final words. So at this stage for this first tap in reading it's just the cards that have come out they've come out more than once so I feel like that's very relevant and very important um, rather than rereading those same cards again so thank you for joining me thank you for watching and if you have any questions just pop them in comments I'm going to start reading back through the comments now and answering some questions for the different readings so thank you and I will see you next week